AliExpress has hundreds and hundreds of anime figures and merchandise. And due to a recent poll, you requested that I buy some more anime figures ranging from about $5 to $10 from AliExpress. So in doing so, I ordered 8 figures. 5 figures have turned up, which we are going to be reviewing today. But stay tuned, because the other 3 are all from One Piece. And we'll do a special dedicated episode to One Piece figures. But now, let's take a closer look into this box of packages that we have of fakes and bootlegs ranging from $5 to $10 from AliExpress. Oh, that stinks. Oh. <coughs> that is not good. That is not good. Hello, all. my name's Daniel, and welcome to Twisted Geek. And let's get straight into these figures. We'll dive straight in with package number one. I say I ordered five figures here in total. And the first one is Naruto. I will put all the prices up on screen just so you can see exactly how much I paid for these figures. Get them out of the base. Some of the pieces that have fallen off there. And there's a little bit of assembly. You've got his hand and everything to go on as well. So let's get that sorted. Also, actually, this comes in two parts. So you've got his hand with his ability on there as well. And hand just by itself. Of course, we're definitely going to put this on. I've only read up about volume 9 of Naruto so far. And I've only watched bits of the series. So I'm not 100% sure of the name of this move itself. But where does... Right, so this goes into his side here. We do here have here as well as another one of them multifunctional bases. So of course that tells you straight away that it is not one of the real figures here. Which is to be expected as well because it didn't actually come with a box option. Alright, so there we go. There is Naruto. And if we down, down here, I'll have a quicker look at his face. The face is not ideal. Uh, he's a little bit too happier there. His eyes pop a little bit too much than they should. Uh, looking at around him, paintwork isn't actually too bad. It spreads out little bits on the navy there. There's no major mold lines or anything onto him. The plastic still seems fairly rigid and fairly strong. Overall, I would say someone got this as a gift. I think they'll be quite happy with that that someone bought that for them. Yes, it is not official, but it's pretty decent. There's a little, I don't know if you can see this tear, a little nick on his hair where the mould has been, other than that, he's pretty awesome, I think. He's, he's pretty cool for the price. We'll get rid of the rubbish under the floor. I see these kind of figures, these kind of anime figures and stuff from AliExpress, Wish.com and Timu are definitely not for everyone. But on a budget, these things are absolutely amazing. You just gotta kind of play the game a little bit and find the good ones. To me so far, Naruto is one of the good ones. Not perfect by any means, but still definitely one of the better ones. And the second one we have here, we have power from Chainsaw Man. I can see already this face is looking a little bit more peculiar. I don't know if you can see that on there as well. That base is scratched to bits and places. I don't know if it's because power itself has been scratching against it, but I wouldn't have fought from that. So that's not great. And uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm struggling with this one a little bit. And I'll show you why if you take a closer look of the face and that there. She looks a little... I know she's like... How best to say it? She looks very, very confused. Yeah, she's not the brightest spark going power, isn't But that's still just a little much. There's lots of marks around her. There's marks on the head there. A horns, if I put it right there, you can see the horns are bent out of shape. Jawline is a bit more masculine than you would expect from this kind of character. Going around, the shoes is definitely quite off on the paint job. There's marks on her legs. There's more marks on her hair. The cat itself's not too bad. Yeah, she she's definitely debatable. Might have to turn her around that way. It's a little creepy. We still got three more to go here though. Let's hope we can get something with slightly better faces than that. Or even better. Get some with even worse faces so we can have a good chuckle. We've got a few parts here and then again, again from Chainsaw Man. We have three saws. Which I'm hopefully going to be able to put onto him directly. Same base as what Power had. And yes, so I right, just quickly put this together. So there we have Denji as, of course, Chainsaw Man himself. This went together pretty easy. These The arms went in quite nice. I find it a little bit strange that even though, if you look at the blades, the saws, have blood on the top, but they don't have any blood on the bottom. The handle for his chainsaw head part itself is completely bent out of shape. 
there is no way that that is going on there it just kind of lies on and just falls right off so that is not going on there at all the base is falling off on him so i'll just leave that for the moment his mouth seems to be falling apart a little bit hasn't been fully put together his tongue's quite crazy quite nice looks like that's going to fall out possibly as well some nice little detailing on his head on the chainsaw itself the blades itself again aren't too bad not perfectly molded but as his color and everything is very straightforward as well white shirt black trousers overall not too bad i think he's definitely denji is definitely a lot better than power power is a little bit too creepy the face wise doesn't quite work let's put denji back onto here do we make it a little bit more creepy by putting uh, naruto's hand on there like that does that work it is now all of these come fully in these bubble wrap no boxes nothing like that of course that's one of the big signs you can tell that these aren't actually going to be real they won't be knockoffs bootlegs fakes however you want to kind of call it oh. Oh. <laughs> that stinks i haven't got fully open it but that absolutely stinks i don't know if it's the plastic or the cellar tape we'll try and sell oh, oh, oh. that is not nice let's get them but out a few i hope the figure doesn't smell oh That is not good. That is not good. Oh, throw that away. Oh, luckily, it was not the figure. As you can see, this is Saitama. It was the bag or the cell tape that was wrapped in. That absolutely stinks. That's going straight in the bin. I want to get the sword. Oh, that's, that's horrendous. One thing I see straight away when the cape comes out there, there is some unfortunate marks on the cape itself. That might wash off with like a bit of um, cleaning cloth or something like that. We'll see. So we've came across one massive issue straight away there with sight hammer. Look at the leg spacing. Look at the spacing on the base. There is no way at all that sight hammer is getting on this base. His feet are just not going it. I'll have to... There's Denji gone. Can I stretch them enough? Kind of felt like I was going to break his legs and the base itself was going to snap. That was not good. Face wise, again, this is one of the areas that does actually unfortunately happen is the face is where it normally lacks the most in some respects i think you could possibly get away with it with saitama just because all of them kind of faces and that he pulls his eyes are very close together you can see the transfer should have been slightly more off the shape of his face isn't too bad uh this i'm not too sure if that's meant to help support the cape i want to guess that's meant to be like that to me that is a uh, that's pointless it's pretty solid in there anyway with saitama being basically just two real colors They've actually done it where the moulding itself is separate. So this isn't actually paint. This is actually the colour moulding. The white's the paint on his top there. And then the belt which has been painted. I do like the pose. I like the waft under his cape. That's pretty cool of him. I think Saitama is not too bad. Maybe I should resurrect Denji now as well. He can go next to Saitama because he's not going not gonna to face Saitama at all is he? So if you are enjoying these hauls from AliExpress and Timu, we don't really use Wish.com anymore just because of the lack of figures and options that they have now and the postages are crazy and times are also crazy. But if you are liking this, it'd be much appreciated if you hit subscribe and click the notification bell so you can be notified of upcoming videos. It would really help the channel. Thank you. And now we'll go on to the last one. Smallest of the five, but I think this one is going to be pretty cool because I don't know if you can see on the bottom there, there's a switch. This was, I, I was not expecting either, but there's a switch. So I think this has got a built-in light. At least this one doesn't stink. And that is Dragon Ball. Going to plumb him into the base there. This base, that is nice. You cannot fault that. That is very, very nice. This makes me wonder what the real version is actually like, because if the fake base is this nice, the real version is going to be awesome. But if you have a real version of this, let me know down in the comments below. And does this compare for the price of it? The price up on here? Is this pretty decent for it? I think we have a winner. Out of all these five, this is pretty cool. The coolest thing though could still be to come. Let us have a look. I think the battery's dead or the circuit doesn't work. So we are back. Basically what I had to do is take out the hot glue, pull it out, and the batteries itself actually had a plastic coating around them, which wasn't letting it conduct. So now we can do the reveal.
it is falling out there a little bit hopefully you can see that glowing I'll quickly turn these lights off that's not too bad really got to push the batteries in there to make them stay but hopefully you can see that okay on there that works pretty cool that is pretty cool I would have to say the overall look of the base the texture character itself the hair so the hair's probably let down a little bit on the mold you can see all the muscle tone the ripped uh, this dragon ball for the win dragon ball for the win so what did you think of this five to ten dollar haul from aliexpress as i say me personally that dragon ball figure is awesome i love the little light on it yeah you can't customize the light but that is still pretty damn cool denji not too bad naruto again not too bad with the face saitama face lets him down and power the face definitely lets her down but i think we've had a good haul let me know what you think down in the comments below. My name is Daniel. This has been Twisted Geek. Hope you have an awesome week. Cheers.